Welcome back to Forest Roamer. Today we're going to be looking at a series of different freestanding tarp shell setups and configurations. Hope you guys enjoy and stick around. Now just as a disclaimer, we're dealing with some interesting Pacific Northwest weather. For those who know, you know. Everything from hail, sideways rain, crazy wind, etc. and so forth. So just bear with me as we're going through. Got a load, Pacific Northwest. All right, guys, so here's going to be the first basis um, for many of our shelter platforms here with everything from the lean to a frame and plow point style designs. Now to set this up again, this is completely freestanding for what you're going to need here is a couple of stakes and you're going to need your quick deploy ridge line. So first you're going to add your first stake in the ground. Once you get that stake in, you're going to take your quick deploy ridge line. We're going to start it on a bow line loop right there. We're going to walk that quick deploy ridge line around and back here. We're going to bring it around our bipod and as you can see, we just have a bipod lash, quick and simple. We're going to bring around that bipod, that bipod a couple different times and we're going to keep pulling that ridge line taut. We're going to pace out our seven paces, hurry paces we're going to need in between our two bipods and then we're going to wrap the quick to put ridge line around again around this bipod and then we're going to stake this side out. And on both sides here we have our prussic loops and now we can throw on our tarp and we'll be set to go again. Whether it be an A-frame style setup plow point or lean to setup all right here is our first setup with the lean to style design we have our corners and with a grommet we have the corners taken care of here with a prussic loop ran through the grommet and then a toggle and the sides are staked out and there is our freestanding lean to style design next up we have our low profile plow point style design here as you can see, this sheet is actually really quite low. There's a couple things you can do to raise this up here on this design. Obviously, if you had a higher bipod, that would also work. Note here that this is connected currently at the Pressic loop. If we threw this connection up on actually one of the poles here, I have an extra uh, piece of bank line on the side there that could throw up on there. I'd bring it up a little bit higher as well. Something else you can do is you can take your head portion here, tie it off and connect it to your ridge line to kind of pull that up a little bit. So then you kind of have that pull up as well but if you look down inside here not a ton of room but definitely enough to kind of get out in and under here and you can see laying down inside here it definitely covered me as well enough at least to get out of the weather if i had to in the short term and we're very low profile still design so honestly not too bad of a setup for what it is and then you know always can adjust this as necessary to bring that pitch a little bit higher if you desire Here's our same plow point style design, raised up just a little bit higher there. And as you can see, that adds in quite a bit more room. So, that is an alternative setup. All right, next up here, we have the A-frame style setup. Now, this is one of my personal favorites here. Now, whether you're in the desert, you're in an a tundra type setting or there's really just no trees where you're at to utilize this type of setup this freestanding setup is awesome one of the things you can notice here on this tarp there's a grommet in the middle there that makes it really nice to first um, throw those i uh, throw that press loop to that grommet and tighten it out on both sides that also helps you ensure the stakes are going to be equal on both sides you're putting them in there as well let's take a look at inside this one As you can see, there's a lot of ground coverage through this. Sorry, we're kind of army crawling through here. But as you can see, I comfortably fit inside here, no problem. I've slept in these multiple times with great success, and it's an, a great way to set up in a survival tarp, one of those five by seven mile tarps, or your emergency poncho. And right in here, you have plenty of room to kind of maneuver around. It is very much low profile, but like I said again, it's going to get the job done. You can easily fit in here uh, if you have a, uh, a ground mat, your bivy bag, and uh, your sleeping bag, your sleep kit. You're set to go. Other than that, I hope you guys like this one. All right, here we have another lean to variant. Now, this is also a really cool setup here when we're looking at the rain. You want a little more headroom, a little more space. All we're doing here is guying out these sides by putting in a short, just under your waist height pull, and then guying both those sides out there. And as you can see, it's gonna give you a lot more headroom, 
and it's gonna be a nice little setup. Right down here, we're just throwing a Marlin spike hitch, and we're all set to go right down there again, pull that side out there. And we're looking at up inside the shelter. As you can tell, there's just a lot more room in here. And again, another awesome setup there. And also allowing good overhead cover, but giving yourself a little more of a convective breeze, a nice summertime type environment. Or again, just looking for more headroom in general. Other than that, another outstanding shelter to utilize. Put in your kit bag. Now a couple notes here on our tarp placement. In this current circumstance, we have it set up with the inside, again, on the lee side of the wind here. Now, oftentimes, depending upon what you have with your fire, you sometimes want the wind to be parallel to your tarp setup, but in this circumstance, this is what we have going. All right, here is our next shelter setup. This is gonna be a plow point style design. As you can see in the middle there, we're actually having that guide out here to a stick and then staked out to the ground. That's adding just a little bit more headroom inside the tarp. We have a couple stakes down in here instead of just one at the kind of corner of the diamond. We added two in there. And again, this is the freestanding portion of the plow point. Here utilizing a single pole. And up there we have a large set with the stake in here to add in our grommet there and a guide out on two separate different points. One on that side and then one right over on that side there. Here is the inside of the shelter design. A ton of room inside this style of shelter here. A ton of room inside this style of shelter. All right, this is a tarp tent shelter. Now this shelter is awesome for the wind. First off, we have one vertical pole about waist height inside there. We have it guide out in the front. Then we have both these sides also tied back to that back stake. Now I put in a couple extra stakes, one right there, one in the back, and then one on this side. However, you can do this setup with just five stakes. However, a little bit more wind than that today. Now this, like I said, if you're really looking for something to hold out well, this is gonna do it. Now what we can do here, man, we're getting some crazy winds here. As you can see how it's holding up though. With some wind and rain. If you want to have some extra security, what I would do is I would get one of these ones here, guide out and stake down, and also all these different tie-outs stake out in different points here to add a little bit extra. I just had a tree go down over there. Had a big crack and fall. Anyways, on the inside of the shelter, this is it. As you can see here, completely out of the rain. And there's a lot of room inside here. The last two nights I've been sleeping in this style of shelter and I've really, really enjoyed it. I just have a bandana up there to kind of use as a protector for the tarp. As you can see in though, I fit in here laying all the way down at six foot tall, very, very comfortably, and have a lot of room to spare. Yeah, this is a good setup. To set this up, all you're gonna do here first, you lay the tarp out as you would in its normal square. You put a stake in one corner, put a stake in that corner. Once the square is pulled tight up here, you can imagine it's coming out straight and in our 90 degree angle. There's normally a, a tie out that would be in that corner there. You move that tie out inward, or sorry, you move that, that corner um, inward over one, where the second one would be, and that's where you're gonna put the outer stake. So essentially, you're kind of making a little bit of that angle at that point there. That allows it to have, um, that allows it to for put an inside pole to give it some more of that vertical component, that height. Same thing over there. Again, like I mentioned, you have a stake in the back. You have it pulled out tight. Again, in the normal square, the integral angle there, where that tie would be, you bring it over one, and you add that stake in the ground right there. Once that's all done, you can add in your vertical component, Get that piece up inside there, prop it up. And then what I normally do is I stake it out from this point or guide out from that point there. Add in one guy line and you just tie off these sides. And this is a trucker hitch to tie those off. 
on both sides and that's it it takes less than five minutes to put up it goes up quick and simple it's a good shelter setup especially when the weather's a little bit nasty like this this is a nice one to get in and out of the weather have everything closed off and have something pretty as, as, as close to a tent as you can get with the tarp all right here's our next setup and this is us flying the tarp now, this is a really cool setup because it's actually pretty easy to throw together for utilizing two vertical posts on either side in the diamond configuration with the tarp set up there on these vertical poles all we have here is a lark's head knot on about 25 foot of paracord each side is guide out now the cool thing about this lark's head knot is if i pull this toggle here everything's coming undone like i said pull that tab boom toggles are awesome again right down here all we've done is utilized a marlin spike hitch to throw out on the stakes makes it quick simple and easy now when i was setting this up i was kind of fighting with the with the wind a little bit I felt like i was at the rodeo trying to trying to get this all put together in fact when i was guiding out one of the sides as i was pulling it out the wind just yanked it right on my hand and the whole thing kind of went collapsing down so i definitely been an interesting day to kind of put this setup together we we're trying to get out of the rain to have something again just flying out that tarp to get out of the rain this is a good option to give yourself some workspace to get underneath this tarp and do whatever you need to do whether it be some camp cooking um, or carving underneath again yeah, like i said just escaping the rain Let's see if we get down underneath here nice covered position we're set to go light rain right now and doing its job just nicely all right until the next one everyone thank you for watching i really appreciate it i'm new to the youtube scene and kind of getting some things figured out and hoping to bring the camera along to better document some of the different skills i'm practicing and experiences i'm having if you made it this far stick around for some great pictures hope you guys enjoy see you next time